Hey guys! Today we're going to start talking about our new project. This is Mrs. B. Hopefully you've finished with your pewter project. The next project is going to be a sawing and piercing project. So you can see some examples here of some projects that were made by sawing not only the outside shape, what you see here, but piercing is what we call when we cut some shapes out of the inside as well. Your two choices for metal for this project are going to be copper, which this is copper. Um, I'm also going to provide the option of nickel, which is going to look like silver, silver but it, uh, it isn't silver. So you can make anything you want to for this project. You can see this is a pendant, which will go on a necklace. This is a bracelet, which takes quite a bit of metal. Um, or you could make two earrings. Um, you could make a keychain. So those some of the, are some of your top options. What we're going to be using to design this project is Adobe Illustrator. So for um, sixth hour, you guys are going to be going down to uh, the computer lab because the computer lab in room 186 already has Adobe Illustrator. Uh, for seventh hour, I am going to ask you guys to go to self-service and to download Adobe Illustrator. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick here. When you're in self-service, you're going to go over here to Adobe. It's Adobe Illustrator that we're going to want to install, and that's right here. I already have it installed on my computer, but you're going to go ahead and click Install. You'll see this blue bar running across the top, and it'll let you know when it's done installing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator and um, show you how to use it. If you want to use a Wacom tablet to draw instead of using the mouse pad, uh, that is a good idea. So I have them on my desk, and so the Wacom tablet is going to look like this. So instead of using your trackpad, um, this is going to be your trackpad so it makes it a little bit bigger. That's the tablet part. Instead of using your finger, you'll use this. Of course, you could draw with this. Uh, what's cool about this is the other side of this is an eraser. So if you just use this on the tablet, um, that will erase things. So when you open up Adobe Illustrator, what I want you to do is to go up and go File, New, because we have to create something to draw on first. Um, this one works, so let's click Create. Now once you have a white piece of paper, quote unquote, to draw on, now you can start creating. And I'm going to be using um, my Wacom tablet as a pencil. I am going to encourage you to fill this page with designs, as many designs as you can fit on the page. And what's going to happen is we're going to choose the best one. But I want to be able to print this whole page and have lots of options. So I'm going to encourage you to try out all of these things. Okay, so if we click on the pen tool and you just see what it does, it can do a lot of things. Okay, now anytime you're doing something with any tool, um, you can change it or undo it. Okay, so What's going to be helpful, if you don't already know this, is Command-Z is undo. And you can go Command-Z, 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 Command-Z. Okay? And undo it so there's never such anything as making mistakes. So feel free to try out all of the tools and make lots of designs. Okay, once you have a design and you're like, well, I kind of like that, let's mess with some of the things up here. Okay? So, for example, if I click on this... Um, what kind of line do I want? Do I want it to be a little bit thicker in one part? How thick of a line do I want? Let's get it up to six point. That's a little bit thicker. Let's get it to that point. That's a little bit more interesting. Also a little bit easier to saw. So think about what this is going to look like in metal. Could I saw this out easier than this? Yes. That would be incredibly hard to saw something out that thin. So any design you make Think about what it's going to look like in metal. There's no sense in using all these colors over here because you only have two choices for metal. It's either going to look like copper or it's going to look like nickel. Okay, you can try out some of these um, different types of lines. Um, but remember, this is going to be sawed out in metal. Okay, if you want to try the paintbrush tool, okay, you can write your name with this pen tool pretty easily. Again, that's a pretty thin line. If I want to take that, oops, first I have to 
click on it. Okay, so the black and the white area are going to be pretty important. Before you make something larger or smaller or different size or stretch it, you have to make sure that you are clicked on it. Okay, that's a little bit too thick. That's a little bit thinner, but I still don't have the holes for my A and my D. Okay, so we can just kind of keep going down and adjusting it. Okay, the next thing is maybe we want to uh, take this and stretch it a little bit or turn it. Okay, so definitely mess with some of that stuff. Um, anytime you need to use the eraser, remember the end, other end of your project is an eraser. This is a line tool. Okay, what kind of lines do I want to make? Do I want them to be uniform? Do I want them to be a little bit thicker and then a little bit thinner? And you can mess with some of those things as well. Um, what's nice about this paintbrush tool is it will adjust with the sensitivity of your brush. So if I barely push um, versus Pushing really hard, it can make a really hard tool. I forgot what setting that was in there. Um, all right, let's mess with the shape tool. I want to show you the shape tool uh, before we move on. Okay, so what this does is, let's say I'm trying to draw a triangle, but it's not perfect. After you draw it, it will make it into a perfect triangle or a perfect rectangle, or a perfect oval. Then what I want to do is, what if I move these around and kind of start stacking them on top of each other and making some designs. Then that's when you start to have something that you can actually take and um, convert into a metal design. Okay, the next one is the type tool. Okay, so you're gonna just go ahead and type. Let's see. All right, there we go. Okay, and then once we have that, we can click on it. And what type of font do we want? What size of font do we want? Oh, here's the font. And there's all these different fonts to choose from. Some of them are pretty elaborate. So if I want to do cursive and then make it really big, then that might be something that I can start to have in metal. Let's move it over here. But um, it needs to be maybe a little bit uh, closer together so it's easier to saw. And maybe it needs to be a little bit thicker. And so we can adjust that as well. Okay, so like I said, play with this. Anything that you don't like, just go Command Undo. Um, you can mess with some of these things that we haven't done. I haven't showed you here. Um, fill the whole page. When you are done, let's go File and let's save it because we are going to be working on this Monday as well. Okay, we're going to call it Sawed Project, and go ahead and click OK. Okay. What I'm going to have you do when you finish is I'm going to have you put this document onto Google Classroom and then I will be able to print it off and we will cut this out directly, paste it onto our metal and then saw onto our metal. Um, here's how the sawing works, just so you know when you need to saw into something. Here's how the process works. So we can see we've got our saw blade right there. Let's show you what she's going to do with it. You can see how she puts the blade into the hole that she's drilled. And then that's how you saw the end. I'm going to work my way around. Always keep your blade moving when you're sawing. Again, holding her saw blade straight up and down and sawing like that, using a bench pin. And then she sawed out the hole inside of that. All right. Get to work.